Inside this lesson, we're going to take a look at inverses of elementary matrices. Now, one beautiful thing about elementary matrices is that all of them are invertible. There isn't a single elementary matrix that does not have an inverse. But it's better than that. It's also true that if we take a type 1 elementary matrix and find its inverse, the inverse is going to be type 1. Same thing for type 2 and type 3. So what I want to do for you on the next couple slides is show you how to calculate inverses for elementary matrices, but in a fast way. So we're going to go through the usual method, and then we're going to see if we can find any patterns as we're solving for these inverses. Let's first take a look at type 1 elementary matrices and try to find their inverses and see if we can notice any patterns. So I want you to take a look at this elementary matrix E and see if you can figure out what elementary row operation it represents. This particular elementary matrix represents the operation 3 times row 3. If we want to find the inverse of this elementary matrix, we can attach a 3 by 3 identity matrix to E, and we'll try to simplify the left-hand side to get reduced row echelon form. So in order for us to get reduced row echelon form on the left side, we're going to divide row 3 by 3. And we'll get the following. So the right-hand side here tells us the inverse of our original matrix. So we conclude that E inverse equals to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1 third. Now what I want you to do is take a look at E, take a look at E inverse, and see if you can see the pattern. You're going to find that if you want to find the inverse of a type 1 elementary matrix, what we do is we find the number on the main diagonal that's not 1, and we take its reciprocal. Alright, so at the top I'm just going to jot down the words quick way, reciprocal, to remind you that if you ever have type 1 elementary matrix, you scan the main diagonal for the number that's not 1, and to get the inverse, we take the reciprocal of that number. Next, we'll take a look at type 2 elementary matrices. This particular elementary matrix represents row 1 plus 3 row 2s. So just like before, we will attach an identity matrix on the right-hand side, and we're going to try to get the left-hand side to reduced row echelon form. So let's do the operation row 1 minus 3 row 2s. So we conclude that E inverse must be equal to 1 minus 3, 0, 1. Specifically for type 2 elementary matrices, you're going to find that the number that's not on the main diagonal differs by a sign. And that's going to be our quick way to find the inverse of a type 2 elementary matrix. As long as we know that E is type 2, we'll look for the number that's not on the main diagonal, and to calculate the inverse, we'll switch the sign of that number. Lastly, here's a type 3 example. I'm going to take a 3 by 3 elementary matrix that represents row 2 switched with row 3. So let's go ahead and try to find the inverse of this matrix. And you'll find that in order to get the left-hand side to reduce or echelon form, we have to switch row 2 and row 3. Okay, now our left-hand side is in reduced or echelon form. And our right-hand side comes out like this. This represents the inverse of our elementary matrix, so let's write that one down. And I want you to take a look at E inverse and E, and tell me if you notice anything. They're actually the same matrix. So the quick way to find E inverse, if you know you have a type 3 elementary matrix, is nothing. We don't have to do anything. E and E inverse happen to be the same matrix only for type 3. Just one small note here as we end off the video. I want you to know that it's always possible to use the long method to find the inverse of an elementary matrix. But what I was hoping to show you in this video are the three quick ways, as long as you know the types of elementary matrices you're working with. 
So we've seen that if we have an elementary matrix that represents multiplication of a row, all we have to do to find the inverse is take a reciprocal. As you learn these quick ways, it's going to help save you some time as you're working through matrix decompositions. Alright my little epsilons, stay positive.